Hello students. Today in the series of chapter 3 that is multiplication and division. Today we will be doing about division. As you all know, division is also referred to as repeated subtraction. Students, I am sure in your previous classes you have learned about the properties of division. But today, before doing division and word problems on division, let's take a quick recap of all the properties of division one by one. You know, students, if we divide 75 by 75, the question that we get is 1. Secondly, again, if we take another example in which we have 325 divided by 325, there also we see that the question is 1. So, student, our first property states that when a non zero number is divided by itself, the question is 1. Now, we see that 56 is divided by 1 and we get 56. Similarly, we see that 312 when divided by 1, it also gives us the same number. That is 312. So, a second property states that when a number is divided by 1, the quotient is the number itself. Let's take another case. When 0 is divided by any other non-zero number, we get 0. Like when 0 is divided by 58, we get 0. Similarly, when 0 is divided by 359, we get the dividend 0. So, on the basis of this, we have the third property that is when 0 is divided by a non-zero number, the quotient is 0. Now, next in the list is when the product of divisor and quotient is added to remainder, we get the dividend. This can be well explained with the help of an example which says on dividing 412 by 6 we get quotient as 6 remainder as 34 divisor is 63 and dividend is 412 students as you already know that divisor multiply by question when added to remainder gives you dividend now on the basis of this we'll have the fourth property let's see what it is students here we multiply 63 and 6 and add 34 to it so what do we get we get 378 plus 34 and when these two numbers are added we get the sum 412 and as you all remember that 412 was a dividend so these were the various properties on division which would be applied from time to time about solving a division problems thank you